All right, hello, welcome everyone to another episode of Metroid Other M. This is a new batch of videos, and uh, I fixed a couple of things like um, the balance between game volume and my my voice. Just uh, a couple of little things, and uh, even though I record and upload in the best quality possible, which you might think, well, that may not be much. Yeah, it is pretty big. Uh, uploading a video takes me about six hours. Granted, I do not have the best internet ever, not by a long shot. But it is still um, every video about f three to five gigabytes, which is probably way too much. And I'm just uh, finding, trying to find, looking for the entrance. Ah, here it is. This is one more item. I also um, realized that this is a condenser microphone. Um, I already knew that, but the way they work is they are not to be used with very high volumes, which is even though as as much as I lower the volume of the microphone itself, of the um, input it is receiving, if I speak too loudly or too close to it, it might still uh, distort a little bit just because it, it that's the kind of microphone it is. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna try to still be energetic, but not shout or speak too loudly or too close to it, and we should be fine, really. And I'm about the quality. It's just the game. You got. You guys gotta remember that we games are. <sighs> yeah, they are not exactly HD. So, please bear with me. As much as I tried to, uh, I did what I could. And then there's this little bar to the left, uh, which is just black pixels. I don't know why it's there. I'm guessing just like Metro Prime Trilogy, the Wii U can't really handle the resolution, the full resolution of the game. So they just like put a couple of black bars here and there just to uh, get rid of some pixels. So the game is actually not even the native Wii resolution, which is pretty sad. Right, so that out of the way, let's just keep going. Uh, I really don't know what to talk about. This game um, takes a, a little bit of a... This is the part in which you explore, you just find stuff, um, which I love. Don't get me wrong, I really love it, but don't expect too much to happen th these next videos. Actually, a lot of stuff will happen. Um, we're gonna fight some big enemies, a couple bosses, we're gonna know a little bit more about the story, but everything at its own pace. So if you wanna figure out what happens, if you've never played this game, you better... Oh, 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 you bastard. You better stay tuned. So what, what else, uh... <laughs> Elsa. <laughs> What else can I talk about? These videos have not been getting a lot of uh, a lot of views or positive feedback for that matter, but honestly, I don't care. Um, this is a game I love, and I think that's what the essence of a Let's Player's job should be. Just upload because you like to do so, not because you're going to get paid. And that's exactly what I plan to do. I, I normally don't finish my Let's Plays. I always find myself getting very unmotivated really quickly and that in part is due to the fact that I don't see much positive feedback uh, not too many people watching and yeah that kind of stuff but I do know that if I put some effort into my commentary and my quality uh, there, sh there should be no reason for people not to just end up stumbling upon one of my videos and just liking them so that's that don't worry, I am finishing this Let's Play, even if it's the last thing I do. Really? Uh, <laughs> the only things that could, for example, stop me from finishing this Let's Play is, I don't know, some kind of apocalyptic event, I die, um, or simply my country goes into some kind of civil war. Yeah, I, which might happen. Uh, I see the news uh, from time to time, and... That is one thing that 
might end up happening, which is uh, not good. Not good. Right. So, my rambling out of the way. Let's just keep going. Okay. I really don't remember much of these environments anymore. Uh, it was a long time ago since the last time I... Okay, lock on. Since the last time I played this uh, completely 100%. Mostly the thing I want I, I don't want to do is miss stuff. Um, and that's about it. Just so that my backtracking doesn't have to be too bad at the end. Because I am going to... Okay, oh yeah, it's right here. Ah, oh, come on, let me in. Doesn't want to let me in. Because at the end, um, I am going to do a lot of backtracking. I'm going to show every single uh, collectible and, their, and its location. And that's going to be a lot of editing. Like, seriously. I'm probably just going to make one single episode. Like, okay, collect a thon time. And after I collect everything, I'm just going to show the last boss. Because in this game, after you beat the last boss and you get everything under... Not 100%. But after you beat the last boss, you are able to come back. And just to obtain every single thing that you are missing. And then you do beat the very, very last boss for real. Ooh, I somehow got that first try. Okay. Okay. Okay, you see, you see that's what I mean. Uh, I'm, I'm very energetic at the moment. Just trying to control myself and my voice volume. So that I don't uh, cause any more troubles with the mic. But that is exactly what I mean. I just forget and I just go, yay! And stuff happens. Okay, so in this part, we are supposed to uh, navigate around with the trees. So we got this. We got these uh, platforms here. Okay, it's not here. I think it was to the very, very far right. Apparently not. Or was it to the far left? I can't, I can't seem to remember. Another thing I did is I upgraded all of my cases fans for my computer. Uh, because I had all of my rooms set up really, really weirdly. I'm probably going to try to make a video about that in the near future. Uh, but my computer was really far away from me. Uh, cables had to run all through the floor and stuff. So to fix that, I just, okay, got rid of some of the, of the very loud fans that didn't have, um, weren't connected to... Uh, places on the motherboard where I could control their speed depending on the temperature of the whole system and um, Yeah, I just got rid of those uh, Those there, there were some really weird fans. That I don't know where I got them uh, They were of course really cheap, you know fans uh, are really cheap no more than five bucks unless you're we're speaking about some weird uh, technology like cooler master silencio or the be quiet fans uh, but usually normal fans, I do like Cooler Master a lot, they plug in into uh, three to four pin sockets in the motherboard and that allows the motherboard to decide at which speed they will operate depending on the temperature of the whole system or either there's a CPU fan that worries only about the CPU and then the rest of them uh, worry about the rest of the system and I also have a uh, MSI Afterburner, you know, worrying about my graphics card. And here we have this huge dude. I, I Remember I told you we are going to be fighting him? You didn't believe me, right? Fuckers. So, the way we beat this guy is hitting with missiles a very obviously exposed uh, core at its belly. And at times it will do that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot about this. I forgot about this. Crap. Okay, okay, get away. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. He hits really hard. I didn't remember this. Crap. Okay, concentration. Wait, did I get hit? Did I get hit before or does this guy just hit really hard? I don't remember. But that's what I mean. Okay. He's just falling over. I probably want to get to some kind of higher ground. Come on, Samus. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, okay. Oh, whoa, Samus! You're really dumb, aren't you? Oh, okay, I was hitting the wrong button. It was not Samus' fault. 
I was hitting B. I'm really used to uh, firing, firing with B or just my trigger finger. Nintendo. You're always a black sheep, aren't you? Come on. Don't flip back down. Jesus. There we go. Get away. Oh, I'm dying again. Okay, Samus, hit it. Ooh. He took really, really long to kill. But that's probably just because it's, uh... It's really... Even though it's episode 5, it's really... What's the word? Really early into the game? Samus is really not powered up at all. So, I did uh, recognize a little pickup. As you can see, we got lots of blue dots. 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 Around the place. Uh, we want to get those after we are actually able to. But, at the moment, we just want to continue with our quest. Here. So as I was saying guys, um, basically the whole thing I did with the fans is so I can keep my computer closer to me which is, uh, which allows me to record and pretty much do all of my stuff comfortably. Okay, so we got an energy part. Um, we're not, we're not, we're not able to get this until very, very late into the game. So basically, pretty much right now my computer is right beside me. Um, about less than a meter from the mic and I can bet that you can listen to the mic much less than you could in the first episode so I'm just basically upgrading my whole setup um, whoa that's a really really high pitched wine that's probably my neighbors um, I live in a some kind of I don't know what the name for these places is but you know this very uh, this very small, not really small, but uh, it's, uh, the closed up system of houses in which only like the people who can live here and their invitations, people they invite, uh, can get in. So we got this uh, huge gate and all that stuff and guards and every single time a car comes in, uh, yeah, it's really loud. It's really, really loud. Ah, uh, the, the, the gate does this high-pitched squeak of metal, scraping metal. Ah, oh, it hurts my ears. And I can swear. Ah, uh, I know this mic. I fucking, I'm starting to fucking hate it. Um, I can swear the mic can pick the, the sound up, so. Yeah. So basically, I'm just trying to upgrade my whole setup and trying to make my videos as best as possible. Uh, I'm gonna find a way. I know there is some kind of way that I can fix the blurriness of these videos, but it's really nothing to do with how I edit them or how I render them. It's just um, the Wii. <laughs> we are all so used to HD now that then we see a, a Wii game. It looks awful. Okay, what's happening to my button? There we go. Don't tell me, don't tell me I'm going to have to buy a new Wii, Wii remote. Probably. Okay, so we got these. And when we press B, we lay down a bomb, we boom. There we go. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Come on, let me down. And I think I remember where we are going now. Well, they did tell us in the end of the last episode. But um, it is a really, really cool part of the... Oh. Oh, crap. I didn't remember these guys. Okay. Come on, come on. So if anyone's watching these videos um, the, the whole way through, I would really appreciate after all the work I've put into... Whoa, oh nice. After all the work I'm putting to, you know, have all the... Oh, and that's, that's a horn. After all the work I'm putting into... Uh, audio settings and all that stuff. If it's really comfortable to watch, I would really appreciate the feedback. And we just keep lethal striking these dudes. And uh, come on, come on, come get, come get your kiss. Come get your kiss. Come on, come, come, come get, uh, come and get your. Did it die? Okay, that's weird. So there's the energy part we couldn't get before. And there, in there is, uh, <laughs> here's a door. So um. 
but okay. Just traversing the place. So, so this happens a lot. Just killing enemies, going through room to room, and the only thing that's interesting about these rooms is that they probably have uh, some kind of pickup. And that's about it. But other than that, yeah, nothing too exceptional, really. Killing them flowers. Okay, so as you can see, the game somehow paused itself because my batteries somehow got disconnected because they're a fresh new pair of batteries, Duracell, to be precise, and they're rechargeable, and I've got like 12 of them just in case uh, something like this happens, but it still happened. Okay, what now? Oh, Jesus. I remember you now. Oof. Okay, 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 okay. Just... Ooh, 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 dodge. Dodge. Okay, so now... Okay, no, 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 Samus. Samus, what are you doing? Samus. Samus. No, Samus. Jesus Christ, Samus. Jesus! No, no. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> My controller hates me. <laughs> or the batteries do, I don't know. Okay, so the thing disappeared. Okay, okay. This game, this game, this game. No. 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 Just... No. Don't. Don't get hit. Don't. Don't get hit. I didn't see that coming. Really weird. Okay, so it's, uh, it's flipped over. Uh, when it's flipped over, it's kinda harder to hit. Just kinda. Okay. No Samus. Samus. Stop spewing your purple sperm at me, god damn. There, no, uh, okay, oh, oh, oh. This is kind of nerve-wracking, I don't want to die. It would be really, really embarrassing if I died, playing my, my favorite franchise. But definitely Metroid is a game in which you can die, um, unlike Zelda. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but Zelda games have gotten stupidly, ridiculously easy. Like, dying in a Zelda game is... Like, really, dude, you suck. And if, and even if you die, you should have at least one fairy in a bottle with you, so you have no excuse. No excuse whatsoever, and it's dead. Killing the wildlife of the planet. Let's just concentrate and replenish missiles, because we don't know when we're going to need them. And what's this? Okay. Oh, I remember this. This was cool. This was cool. Yay. 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 And there's um, this um, kind of secret that I'm going to share with you guys. Okay, wait. Just kill the kill the bug. Kill the bug. Kill the bugs. Bugs. Kill the, kill the bug. It's going to be a nuisance later. Okay, so we arrive. There we go. Nice, Samus. Very nice. Uh, I like how intricate these whole environments are. Doesn't doesn't really seem like it, but they're kind of big. Okay, we can't get up from there. It's gonna be from here then. Come on, center yourself, Samus. There we go. Ah, uh, like there's a ground floor, then there's uh this huge system of pipe not really pipes what are these wireframe things uh, I really wonder what the use for these would be but they exist and we got another energy tank perfect that's great great really okay so what's here oh okay we turn off this thing and that that unlocks the door so one more thing before we go through the door okay Sam's jump Sorry, I was just checking the time. I think there was a little secret here. Yeah, this is suspicious. We scan it, and it tells us speed booster. We just just checking. I have to make a mental note that that thing exists, and it's right there, because we're going to need it afterwards. And I just hope that we can actually get through here. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay. Okay, I can't see it from there. 
Okay, I despawned it. Yeah, I was like, okay, the, the freaking thing's head is going through the door. Despawned it. Ooh. We're making progress. Go for- Oh, damn, I remember all of this. It is all coming back to me. Okay, scan the missile. And that's what we get for going through that speed booster door. Ooh, the biosphere, biosphere test area. It is all coming back to me, really. So this weird place, uh, we're inside a, a ship, a bottle ship, precisely. And this whole place just really looks uh, very natural. With just, of course, yeah, there's a building in the middle of everything, but it looks uh, surprisingly natural for all being, what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, artificial. Okay, so this place looks really gloomy. There's things on the floor. What is this, precisely? Um, okay, that's, that's just uh, a robot. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so we're going to leave it here. We're going to end this episode here. Uh, keep the suspense going. Thanks, guys, for watching. I will be seeing you in the next episode. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to enjoy some more. Whatever. Bye.